Oh my god, it's Kaylin here, back with another video of part two from the Super Twin Super Science Super Friday Six Baggies in it. Do you ever get confused working with multiple alleles? Well, I'm going to give you a simple scenario that's going to help walk you through the process. First, what exactly are multiple alleles? Well, they are genes that are controlled by more than two alleles, shown here at the bottom in these two Punnett squares. Before we go over how to set up a multiple allele Punnett square, I'm going to go over what's different between a two-trait Punnett square and the multiple allele Punnett squares. One of the main differences is that only one allele, which for example the T on the dominant recessive Punnett square, controls only one trait. So capital T controls the tall trait and little t controls the short trait. For multiple alleles, it's a little different. There are two alleles that are controlling one trait. For example, type A blood is controlled by the pair alleles AA and AO, and both of these will equal the type A blood trait. Before we create a Punnett square for these lizards, we're going to go over the genotypes and the phenotypes for them. So first, the genotypes are O, or OO, B, or BO, Y, which is only Y, and R, and RO. And for the phenotypes, it goes orange, blue, yellow, or gray. Let's say we have a blue male lizard and an orange female lizard. And we're going to breed them together to see what their offspring might be. So first we're going to take the genotype of the male lizard and put them up at the top of our pun square. So B-O. And for the female genotype, we're going to put on the side, which is O-O. -O. Now we're going to cross them. So in the first box, it's going to be B-O. In the second, it's going to be O-O. -O. In the bottom left, it's going to be B, O, and the last one's going to be O, O. Just from looking at the Punnett square, we know that 50% of their offspring are going to be blue, and the other 50% are going to be orange. Now that we know the offspring from the Punnett square, we are going to put these numbers into a ratio. The genotype ratio is going to be 2, the 2, and the phenotype ratio is also going to be to the two, or 50% BO and 50% OO, or 50% orange and 50% blue for the phenotype. 